If joinery is needed in the construction of any piece of millwork, the addition of lock dowels can become a dramatic asset. What we're seeing here is, a again, a, a piece of cabinetry that is butt together, and our process now is to utilize lock dowels. Uh, placing the lock dowel into the actual joinery itself is step one. If we look at it, you can see that it is absolutely the spec from the manufacturer. The only thing that has been added additionally to it is the negative geometry that will actually cut and mill the two pieces of wood that it touches. The process of adding it is fairly straightforward and simple. One has to locate where those lock dowels go. So what we've done is we have suggested that one creates a boring pattern. And that boring pattern is a specified distance off of the face of the cabinet. And in this particular boring pattern, we can have one that's less, less than 15 inches deep. We can have one that's greater than 15 inches deep. We can have one for stretches or nailers. Um, really, functionally, um, you could have hundreds not that you need hundreds, but you could have quite a number of different ones that meet the needs of your particular design department. Attaching these work planes to the cabinet itself is a fairly simple task where we would pick the attach tool, touch the work planes themselves, and we are prompted what to do. For example, it says select the front face, which is here, select the top face, and select the top edge, and you can see that those dowel planes or the planes that we want to attach to become available. If we measure them, then we meet the spec from the manufacturer where this is 20 mil off the front and so on. All of these are predefined so that every one of your designers, engineers, yourself, your hobbyists can get accuracy every time you use it. Now to take these lock dowels and attach it to the cabinet itself, again, simple task using the attach tool. You can put one at a time in or multiples. Well, I'm going to use multiples. So it says select the boring surface, which of course will be here. Select the vertical axis or work planes, and I'll pick the first one, and I'll pick the third one. So that it'll be an interval of 32 mil, and select the top surface of the top board and the bottom board. And that's now done. If we look at it more in hidden lines, you can see that it has added these two. Doing it again, or well, we could have done it at first, you'll see it actually created now. Select the boring surface, which will be the inside surface of this board. Select the vertical axis, and again, picking the first one, or the third one, or the fourth one, whatever meets your particular condition. And I'll touch the top and the bottom and pick attach. And you could see that now we have four of them in the model itself, and if we take a look at it, you can see it's absolutely centered, again, if that's what I want. If not, of course, you adjust it at when we start. If we look at the bill of material, the bill of material will also specify there are eight lock dowels, as well as all the parts, lengths and widths and thicknesses. So it describes purchase parts rather than parts that you build. The last step in the process is to sculpt. And what Sculpt does, it's going to actually create the negative shapes in all the materials. So let's turn on the shading again. Let's just move one of these boards away. And you can see that what it's done is actually cut the parts absolutely perfectly, drill the holes in everything that we just did very very simple task and then of course this particular board here if we open it that's ready to be milled working drawings are a snap obviously you can see that uh, the creation of documentation straightforward if we go further with each of the parts each of the parts are automatically generated as well as dimensional values, if necessary, of all the pieces of material that uh, we were working with. Again, back to the assembly drawing. 
if we want to go further and do an exploded view, of course, we can do that also, where everything is spec, bill of material, cut listing, and um, any really option that is necessary for your particular job. Thank you for watching.